Oh, Mr. Q, Mr. Q, I, I want myself a Tholian recluse carrier and, and, and a pet war combat pet. Please, 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 please. Oh, what the heck is this about? No, I just asked for a few things and you, you, you turned me into a little monkey thing? Good morning, YouTube. Hello, and welcome to another episode of MMI Anthropology. And as you have probably guessed, this is Star Trek Online. Although the places that you're looking at, you may not recognize from any Star Trek. This is Q's Winter Wonderland, and standing right next to me, or floating, happens to be Q. This isn't the John Delancey Q. This is John Delancey Q's son, Q. Anyway, I'm here right now in the Winter Wonderland to talk about Star Trek Online's progression into the Winter Holiday events, which are going on in a lot of MMOs right now. The primary things to note about Star Trek Online is that Star Trek itself, as an intellectual property, as a cultural phenomena, is a very, very Western one. So it's going to borrow heavily from especially North American concepts of Christmas. Some of the things we're going to see are... Well, interesting little Christmas songs, ice, winter, the you know snow, snowmen, etc. So, I'm going to uh, r switch over to start using my UI again. So you'll be seeing all the bits of the game, and I'll start talking about all the different elements and how people have been playing them. So I'll see you there. In just a moment. The first thing that I figured I'd discuss is the way that the gaming works in the Winter Wonderland affect for Star Trek Online. They borrow heavily from a lot of secular traditions in the United States, especially North America. Uh, they totally leave out Santa Claus and Christmas trees and etc., but they do take snowmen and ornaments. So let's talk to a vendor who, in interestingly enough, are selling amusing things like uh, you know, a mint tea, eggnog, I'm surprised that Nog's Nog. There it is, Nog's Nog. There's a Nog is a character from Star Trek: uh, Deep Space Nine, so of course his name already has Nog in it. Uh, the way that you purchase these is via receiving ornaments, mostly. Oh, I think I might have some in my inventory. Okay, as you play the games, you get interesting things from different cultures in Star Trek Online. Candles from the Bolians, who are the blue guys. Of course, little balls that came on Christmas trees from the Earth people. Earmuffs made out of Targ fur, which of course would be the Klingons. Vulcan meditation incense. I'd be shocked if the Vulcans had any sort of Christmas or winter holiday. And Dorian sleigh bells. Uh, you know, a joke about reindeer, which is as close to this as we get to Santa. Bajoran gratitude beads, which I don't really know where those tie in at all. These are give you purchases for consumables and also snowballs and a type of boots that allows you to run faster but causes you to slip more, which will be coming up in a moment because there's an ice race in this game. There's also these weird little wintry outfits that you can buy, but here's the most interesting part. These are weapons that fire snowballs, and these are Star Trek-style weapons that look like Star Wars lightsabers. Uh, the Batleth, of course, is the Klingon weapon, and the Lirpa is that weird Vulcan weapon that you saw in the original series when Kirk fought Spock during the Pond Far, for, for any you know, Trek geeks out there. Uh, they have a glow to them, as I su suggested, that makes them look like lightsabers. If I recall, they were introduced as a joke about the production of Star Wars the Old Republic. Now you earn these two ways, well, multiple ways. You can play in the PvP race, which is which uses this ice track down here. Uh, oh, we can see someone running it right now. It's a little bit difficult because you slide all over the place as you're running, and if you go off the track, you fail. The next thing that you can earn them from is fighting animated snowmen who come charging out of nowhere, throwing snowballs at you, and there's awesome little snowmen all over the place that you should probably check out, like Federation and, of course, Klingons. 
who, well, this guy apparently has been shot through the chest. He's holding himself a stick batleth. Let me show you some of the sliding around. I'll come back to the pile of snowballs in a second. If I run and then I stop, I keep going for a little while. You have a little bit of momentum when you're on ice. And also, you could pick up snowballs. Take snowball. Take. It gives you a set of snowballs. And uh, on the hour and ev uh, every 30, every half hour, there is an animated snowman attack. Uh, Q has animated snowmen leap to life and charge and start uh, shooting at people. And shooting at, by shooting at people, I mean they throw snowballs. The snowballs, when they hit you, they cause damage to your health and totally ignore your shields. But instead of killing you, they just freeze you solid for a couple minutes. Well, probably about 10-15 seconds, actually. After the snowman invasion is knocked down from 100 to 0 snowmen, a giant overlord snowman rises in the middle of this lake here. And when you take him out, you receive the interesting ornaments that you just saw. Now... It's probably going to be, well, another 15 minutes uh, before we see the attack of the snowmen. I figured I'd pan around a little and l allow you guys to enjoy the interesting snowy vista we have here. They've got evergreens. They're sort of shaking in a wind or breeze. There's, there's snow falling. Um, Star Trek Online, of course, did this last year, and some of the things that we're looking at are modified from last year's gameplay. Now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait around a little bit and then I'm going to restart when there's a snowman attack and show you that as the finale to this discussion because there's some interesting things that have risen about out of it in player cooperation that I'd like to discuss. So I'll be seeing you there in uh, just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the attack is on. I have 500 snowballs and they're in my quick slot. So while I'm uh, targeting snowmen and furiously pressing forward, by the way, it looks like in a recent patch it switched up to 150 snowmen instead of just 100. I'm on a very high population shard at the moment, so this should go really swiftly. And I'm about to describe why that's important in just a moment. Uh, Star Trek Online shards. That means that each time that a instance, like a Q's Winter Wonderland, becomes overfilled, which is around 30 or 40 people, it produces another one to stick people in so that they don't become laggy or overfilled. This creates an interesting effect with the Winter Invasion event. As you can see, already 62 of 150 uh, have been knocked down, but certain other... Come on, get within range. Snowball away! Uh... Snowmen are only injured by snowballs. This means that certain lower population regions right now are at a much lower level of snowmen that they've knocked down, and so they're much further away. Thump, as you can see, is throwing snowballs at me. If I had a snowball gun, this would go much faster, but I haven't spent enough time in order to buy one. Shards with lower populations will be much further behind. Um, and as a result, as you can see, you'll start seeing shortly, probably about the time that we kill the Winter Overlord. Gotcha, bastard. I'll hide behind the person here with the flurry and the snow. The Winter Critter. I'm probably going to fast forward a moment into the strike from the Winter Overlord. Okay, we are only two snowmen away. So we should be seeing a big, bad giant. This isn't your fr usual Frosty the Magical Snowman. He's not wearing a top hat, and he looks very upset. On, a, on an extremely high population shard, this guy will melt in a like, mere minute. Probably about 60 seconds as, uh, if everyone marches in with their flurry snowball shooter and their avalanche snowball shooter. They will knock him down in no time at all. He spawns little snowman minions, he uh, stomps, he'll throw you around. Oh, for example. He even throws giant snowballs. There he goes, going down, going down, going down, going down. Oh, come on. Just, uh, come on, people, you can do it, you can do it. Come on. Wow, he's, uh, he's a lot tougher than I remember. Crushed. As you can see, it gives a nice number of ornaments when he falls down. And if you watch the chat, people are publishing there's how many uh, snowmen that they currently have to fight with this 103, 150, and it says what zones they're in. Now, because certain zones will, will work faster than other zones, that means that 
you, once you defeat this, you can shift to another zone and help them defeat theirs. Oh, come on, why does it keep disappearing when I turn that far? Well, thank you for coming along. This has been another MMO Anthropology taking a look at Star Trek Online and their winter event. To all of you, good night and good dreams. Why Klingon Snowman? Why all the hate? Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming along. If you liked this, I hopefully I earned your like. And could you, if you want to leave a comment about how you've seen people playing the game, and if you're enjoying Star Trek Online's winter event, please leave it below. Because if you don't, a Klingon Snowman will come bay and put a bat in your Federation Snowman.